Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Victoria Idoni. Local emergency management offices are preparing for the impacts from the remnants of Laura. News 3 meteorologist John Ross explains what local officials are expecting. Heavy rains are a trademark of tropical systems like Laura. We almost always see some concern for heavy rain and, and flooding, uh, and we do, of course, issued the flash flood watch based on that. So that's that's been consistent. Typically, so are the winds that come with it. They often find a way, it seems, to, in the end, produce wind gusts a little higher than what what is conceivable by the model. So we keep that in the back of our mind. Because of that, McCracken County Emergency Management Director Jerome Mansfield is bracing for the possibility of power outages. Yes, we're always concerned about power outages when the winds, uh, sp wind speed starts increasing. And While we may not see weather like this every day, systems with tropical origins like Laura are not all that uncommon in our region. So we're always dealing with it to some degree. Uh, and, you know, at least on a uh, somewhat regular basis, we'll deal with some type of more organized system like this, at least once every couple years, every few years. But like every other rain event, it's important to remember your flood safety rules. The turnaround, don't drown adage is very appropriate. And regardless whether a warning is issued or not, if you come up on a flooded road, turn around, don't drown. Uh, that's absolutely vital. We lose uh, a lot of people in our region, uh, relatively speaking, to the other hazards from flooding. Reporting in Paducah, meteorologist John Ross, News 3. Emergency management officials urge you during times like this to stay by your phone or NOAA weather radio and stay weather aware.